Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Harbor Freight 47 bin parts rack. So, pretty excited for this. This thing sits right around 100 bucks, and you know, it's Harbor Freight. I'm sure you can find coupons and whatnot, but $99.99, and uh, I think it serves a, a lot of uh, functionality for the price. Um, you might look at it and just think, well, that's just some metal and some plastic bins, you know, that's, that's some pretty cheap stuff, but in my opinion, um, you know, if you have like a mechanic shop, a wood shop, and in our case, we're actually going to be using it in our computer shop uh, to sort like all of those tiny little screws, and um, we have all kinds of different electrical connectors that are typically pretty small, like adapters, you know, for 3-pin RGB, 4-pin, um, like fan splitters, RGB splitters, the list goes on and on. Um, but long story short, you know, we thought something like this would be pretty cool, we're going to give it a try. Um, it's, it's a fairly big piece, I can definitely tell you that, since it is a freestanding unit, um, and this is the one that's not on wheels. There is a bigger version that's on wheels, and instead of the shelves being on just one side so that you can put it against the wall, this one is meant to be like a centerpiece because there's the actual part spins on both sides. So let's go ahead and just get all these parts out and then we'll come back to recording. All right, guys, we got the GoPro head mount on and uh, the instructions, well, they kind of suck, you know? Um, you don't really get a whole lot with it and I, I kind of expected this, honestly. Yeah, this picture right here, like it's hard to even really depict what's exactly happening. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting it together and show you guys exactly how it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of these guys here out. All right, so these pieces right here, you're basically gonna take these, these holes will be right here. They're not threaded. These are the threaded holes. You're gonna take that, put that right there. You're gonna take one of these, two of them actually in a lock washer. And we're gonna go ahead and thread these in. Now, obviously having a drill for this whole project's gonna make it a lot easier since all of these are, are Phillips. So I'm gonna grab my impact here. It has a nice little PH2 bit on it. We'll go ahead and get these zipped in there. Take this piece, get it over, take two these, put our lock washers on. These lock washers are definitely gonna help um, since you're gonna be taking you know these bins on and off, get some vibrations, movement and stuff like that. You don't want them coming loose. So because as you guys can see, that was a very flimsy piece. So this is gonna line up just like that. We're gonna be using the exact same ones here. So it's uh, I just scattered my bolts everywhere. I did have them nice and organized, but that is no more. So we're gonna take some more of these guys right here. We're gonna need two for each support bracket. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and go on to putting these guys on. So these are just gonna go in just like this, and this is where we're gonna have to use those um, nuts that they included. We're not gonna need any washers for these.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put this bar on once again using the long washers. And we're going to line up all these holes here and should just go in just like that. All right, and this should be the last piece before we can just go ahead and start putting everything on. So the curved edge is gonna face towards the front. Go ahead and get this off however, for whatever reason this is here. And this should be pretty self-explanatory. Well, should be. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be, looks like that goes over just like the very top did. So we gotta get these corners on. Right, guys well this is looking pretty good I actually really like how it turned out um, one thing to note is uh, this might just matter some people have like OCD the yellow bins you kind of have to center uh, the other bins actually fit like perfect to where you can get them all the way across and they're edge to edge the yellow ones have a little bit of spacing so you know no big deal um, another thing to kind of note too is like I was actually going to do like kind of an opposite and have the yellow bins up top because those are the ones I'll probably be using the most when I kind of realized oh that kind of defeats the whole purpose that when you come over here you're not going to see the bottom ones so they're just just kind of something to, to think about but um yeah got everything put together like i said one thing i think would be really cool is to add a, like a light bar here um you could actually add one just like that this would be pretty much perfect just to give you guys some ideas um but that, that would actually be awesome maybe i might do something like that because it looks like we got uh, oh yeah we got plenty of room up here actually um it's just will it actually penetrate past all of these i don't really know only one way to find out, I guess. So, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels, like our main channel and Toasty Clips. And uh, make sure you guys leave a comment section. Leave a comment in this comment section down below if you guys want me to review anything else from Harbor Freight or anywhere else. Peace out.